I'm really excited to get this project going. Um, we live in a really hilly town and our neighborhood is really hilly. If you look up, you can see just retaining walls everywhere. There's retaining walls between every property. Everyone's front yard has some type of hill or retaining wall. And a lot of people be mowing these damn hills. And like, I don't even know why you would do that. So one, I want to replace every lawn everywhere because they're a waste of resources. And two, I just think, why kill yourself mowing a damn hill? And this particular neighbor isn't able to mow that hill anymore. So we about to plant it with flocks. Hell yeah. Flocksy, flocks, flocks, flocks. So excited. So what we're going to do is manually remove the lawn because we can't do the cardboard and mulch situation. So today's going to be some hard labor because we got to remove the lawn. We're going to start with the front of the hill, see where the phlox is. <clears throat> My husband and I are going to make sure. What we're doing is starting with fewer plants because phlox is native. It will spread out. It'll be great. It'll, oh, eventually it'll be really beautiful. So we're going to remove the front of the hill, kind of see if that's good and we're gonna weed it for the season and it should fill in if not by next summer then the following so one or two years or two or three years um, because spend less and let the plants do the growing that's how I feel today I'm also gonna be trying to get some lettuce seeds into this area so I'm gonna finish the cardboard and whatnot last year this substrate held way too much water and I drown everything. I planted some stuff, they sprouted and they died. I brought some dill over and it died and it's hard to kill dill. So we're going to be moving this around, adding some of this, maybe adding some aged compost to hopefully make it a situation where things can thrive. Hey, don't forget. Take a break. Especially when you're doing shit like cutting out lawn and wheelbarrowing stuff. Drink water. Put on sunscreen. Protect yourself. I don't like to buy my soil in bags. I'm gonna order it by the yard, but I should have had some of my lettuce in last week, so I got a little bit of extra help today. These bags are recyclable in the front of your Target or major grocery store with all of the rest of your grocery bags, which you shouldn't have because you're using reusable bags, right? Anyway, if you have to buy your stuff in plastic, recycle the plastic. Okay, it might not look like much, but right in there, I planted my first lettuce and I'm saving the dock. And we going, self-sufficient. We going self-sufficient here, hopefully. I don't know what's gonna happen with these lettuce. I hope that I did it right. When I get back, I'm probably gonna put some of the hay from the bunny barn on there, but I'm also putting some things on the tree lawn right there and maybe getting carrots in the ground. And this is what we started with. As we started to remove the grass, it became clear that if we removed all of it, there might be some issues with erosion. So we're gonna start with these strips this year and we're gonna see how much they fill in next year. Will they grow into the grass? Do we need to cut the grass back next year? And then you'll see, we're going to do something here as well. We're gonna take care of the top too. I am going to plant her tree lawn and we're also going to do this side of the house as well so eventually all of the sides the entire front and the tree lawn will not have lawn and they will be beautiful require fewer resources and less labor as well but i'm just going to wrap up 
what I did at my house on Sunday. In this section of the tree lawn, I put down some seeds for a type of chrysanthemum that I will look up the name maybe and put it in here somewhere. The flowers are edible and they're perennial, so that should be fun. Um, over here, I've started to put my chives seeds. We want the perennial chives and onions to be away from the yard where the cats will be and having them on the tree lawn should be really great. I started to plant my greens. I saved this little native dock. I'm letting the dock establish itself all over my yard. A friend of mine gave me some arugula and mustard and then back there where the topsoil is are some seeds for some greens. I'll be doing some succession planning, so succession planning. So next week I'm going to add some more here and we'll just see how it goes. And I'm kind of debating. I'd love opinions in the comments. Edging the lawn. Creeping flocks. I love it. It's pretty. Some other edging. I don't think I want to build a physical barrier, but I do think maybe we need something that denotes that this yard is some type of bed and not, you know, because there'll be downtime when it's not as pretty. So if you've got an opinion, leave it in the comments. And then the final thing I did was up over here where eventually this will become a fully raised bed. I laid down, what, what seeds did I put in there? Carrots and something called tatsoi. It should be fun.